Today I show you how to remove an NVMe SSD drive M.2 NVMe SSD from a computer. You could actually do the same from a laptop, but with the laptop the steps are a bit different. Before you begin, make sure you disconnect the power from the computer. These are the NVMe drives in my computer. That's the Seagate. That's the good NVMe, the Seagate. the heatsink and the other one is under there Philips the NVMe I'm removing actually it's not working properly and I have a few problems with it and I'm trying to see if I can work use it make it work in another way and it's under the graphics card, it's where the, the port for the M.2 slot is under the graphics card here. And I had a bit of a trouble, like normally you have to press the tab for the graphics card, but I use this uh, plastic spudger tool to open the graphics card like that. Make sure you don't damage the motherboard when you do this. This is the part where I have to press it down. This is because of the cooler that is a little bit different than the usual and it uh, doesn't, it can barely fit there. I cleaned the graphics card a little bit from dust, not much because it's going back in the dusty case anyway. Someone is gonna say something about it, but I'm sorry you had to see this. This is the tools, toolbox I have. Philips 00, I use this for the M.2 slot screw and I think that's a pretty good size for it, but you can really use any small screwdriver. Don't lose this. And uh, Philips, maybe uh, the, the Japanese also, the, I can't remember the name now. There's a Japanese standard screwdriver that looks like Philips, but it's not. So I put the screwdriver back there in the slot in case I will install another NVMe here. That's the screwdriver, the screw and the, the lifter will be there. I, would, I don't have to search for them to find where they are. They will be there exactly where I need them to be. And now after removing the NVMe drive, I put back the graphics card, making sure the, the tab is pressed down. So when the graphics card goes in, it will the, the locking tab will uh, go up and it locks the PCIe slot. This is the AS, ASUS, ASUS, 2060 and here you have to be careful some of some power supplies they might have this uh, PCIe connector with the split that is not uh, all in one connector there are two pieces so make sure the PCIe power slot is fully inserted and all the pins are inserted there is no nothing nothing empty there you put back the side panel and Really the NVMe now is removed and the computer because I had problems with that NVMe drive the the SSD was making some problems and now the computer is without it so it's working fine. The NVMe I had in the computer was not working well it's the Samsung and Evo 970 plus and even the Samsung Magician, it's uh, it was it was having a bit of problems reading it. There was no firmware update. The drivers I installed the drivers many times, it was still not working. But now the NVMe drive is removed. Thanks for watching.